My name is Seek Donnelly. I've been a nerd my entire life. I've been working since I was 15 years old, everything from retail to movie production to comic books. I've been in and out of hospitals more times than I care to count, but I've been lucky enough to make some amazing friends and meet some amazing people. And now I want to share some of those experiences with you. Welcome to my life. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a sneak peek into the life of Seek. And today I'm just, again, running errands. If you saw my last video, this is all being filmed in the same day. It's just uh, the only free time I had this week and it's not even free time. I gotta run a bunch of errands, uh, but I gotta get like you know, my car looked at and I gotta get uh, oil change and little things like that. Maybe pick up a couple groceries, pick up some dog food for Echo. And, uh, and then I had to do this arts and craft project for work. So now that a lot of that's out of the way, I kinda wanna just go have some fun and uh, you know treat myself to some comic books uh, because I, I've been a little bit behind. So I gotta, uh, I, I mean, even though I got a stack like a week or two ago, I haven't read through every single thing yet. So uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing that. I'm gonna try to set some time out today to read comics and catch up, but I have Lego sets to, that I'll probably build and a lot of other things going on too. Uh, but uh, but I'll try to squeeze as much as I can in today. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the, I'm gonna run to Golden Apple and we're gonna start there. And then um, after I swing back by my work area, I also, uh, there's a comic store over there called Legacy Comics and I have a, a pull list there with like a couple titles on it because I like supporting that store. Uh, so, you know, since we've been to House of Secrets and I filmed that, I wanted to show you guys Legacy Comics and give them a shout out because they're awesome guys. So we'll go to Golden Apple, we'll grab whatever's on our pull list there, which I don't have a ton, I don't think, this week. Um, and then we'll head over to Legacy and maybe we'll spend a few dollars there to, uh, to support that store. Uh, you know, like I said, I got some bonus money. I'm very excited about it and I'm not trying to blow any of it uh, or like a lot of it, but I do, there is some of it that I was way more you know, generous than I thought it was going to be. And so I am able to tuck some stuff in my savings and actually, you know, have a savings account again for a while uh, because a lot of the hospital visit, visits recently have depleted me because I had to do co-pays and things like that. Uh, it, you know, they, they kind of took, you know, my, my uh, just savings account away. So now I can actually tuck some money in my savings account and do that, but then also have a little bit of fun and uh, support some of these stores I like to shop at and then also, um, you know, get something for myself. So this will be a fun day. We're going to go get some comics. So let's get to it. Don't touch that dial. Actually, I forgot we have to make one more stop. Uh, I'm out here, uh, you know, I've gone to work, I've done all that stuff, and now I'm uh, over near the comic store, Legacy Comics, and I forgot I have a couple books there on my pull list. I think Old Man Quill and Dead Man Logan issue five, I think those are the two main ones. Uh, but I'm gonna head over there and check out uh, what books I have on the pull list and uh, what things I can add to my stack of comics today. Uh, I got so much to read, but I, I'm gonna try my best to catch up. So let's get over there and check it out. don't have a ton of new books uh, so what I did was I kind of mixed them in with the current series they're attached to and so that way we can talk a little bit about each one. Uh, first up I got to mention Blastosaurus. Uh, this is a comic book that Golden Apple Comics actually makes themselves. They publish it in Golden Apple Books and I wanted to give it a plug because I've been buying the single issues and then the few issues that they put up on Comixology just to support them more. And then Ryan even tried. He was like, uh, hey, I'm just going to give you one of these. You know, you've been supporting the book. I appreciate you buying the Comixology versions, but I still snuck this up to the counter and paid for it because I was like, no, man, I got to support you guys. I know what it's like to put out indie books. And I know you, you have an instinct that you want to like just get people to read it and you want to hand it out to your friends. But I've read this book and I really like this book. It's a really fun all ages book about this giant dinosaur guy that's running around with these kids. And, you know, like, you know, but <laughs> solving mysteries and getting into adventures and stuff. Um, it's really fun. So I would say if you have a kid out there, pick up Blastosaurus. It's an indie book. Uh, indie books should always be supported, especially ones that are really good. And I really like this one. So uh, definitely go pick this up. Um, order it. I think you can go to your local comic shop and just tell them to look it up in Diamond Previews or if you have a Previews uh, you know, magazine book, 
flip through that and find Blast Source in the back in the indie section, and uh, and you know make sure you get that order code and give it to your local comic shop. Um, so the trade is out. It's eleven ninety nine. It has like the first uh, five or so issues in it, and uh, and then I think the zero issue might be in here too somewhere. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun book. Pick it up. And the other book that Golden Apple puts out is Adventure Van, and that's another really fun comic book. And the trade paperback for that comes out on Wednesday, which is probably when this will upload. Uh, and that's uh, Wednesday, March 20th, 2019. So if, uh, if that's the date today, then go pick up uh, Adventure Van and make sure you get Blastosaurus 2 from your local comic shop. Uh, then also what I've been reading lately is the Batman Who Laughs miniseries. I really like this character. I even bought like the PVC statue of him, the $45 one from Diamond Select. And I really like the look of him. He first appeared in uh, Dark Knight Metals, or the Batman ongoing, or like the big Batman crossover that they did like a year or so ago. And I dug that. The book was really weird, and it was different, and it was a bunch of different evil Batman from different worlds. And one of them was a Batman that became like a Joker. Uh, he's like a hybrid, a Bruce Wayne that kind of turned into the Joker. So there's issue two cover. I, buy, I like to buy the character-focused covers. The artwork on them is just so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I picked that up, and that's issue three. So there was a character introduced in it that got his own spinoff book, and that's um, the Grim Knight. And so this is the Batman Who Laughs Grim Knight number one. It's a one-shot it kind of takes place, I guess, in between issue three and then whenever four comes out, it'll go right there. And uh, this is another alternate universe Batman who is more like the Punisher. When he was a kid and his parents got killed in front of him, this Bruce Wayne, uh, young Bruce Wayne, picked up the gun and shot Joe Chill. And then from that day forward, kept killing people. And so that's what this is. This is an uh, exploration of a Batman that does kill um, and, uh, and kills all the time. And so, uh, and so when I saw, so I was, I get in those debates sometimes with people where I say Batman doesn't kill and they go, yes, he does. He's killed before. And it's like, has he killed? Yes. But in his 80 years of history, does he consistently kill? No. Uh, and that's where I like, I feel like people just misunderstand when I say Batman doesn't kill. I mean, he doesn't consistently kill. This Batman does consistently kill. So if you want to see that Batman out there, or in five years you want to argue with me that Batman doesn't consistently kill, and you pull this book up, just remember he's a different universe Batman. Uh, but in this one, he battles Jim Gordon, uh, who is like kind of his arch nemesis. And this Batman, he killed Joker before Joker even became Joker. He like killed him in the acid at, at Acme Chemicals um, or Ace Chemicals, whichever version. <laughs> uh, then, uh, you know, he's killed all the other villains. And so now it's just Jim Gordon trying to take him down with the help of Alfred, who has a bomb planted in his head, Suicide Squad style. Um, so the, this Batman is pretty, pretty dark. Um, and then at Golden Apple, I also picked up, uh, you know, Daredevil 1 and 2. I really dug this. Um, someone told me, I think uh, someone posted online about, hey, like, if you want to save the Daredevil, because a lot of people were buying the billboards, and you know, in uh, Times Square, and they were saying, we want Netflix to bring back, see, you know, another season of Daredevil, which I agree. I really like that show. I really liked season three. Uh, but I also felt like it had a kind of a nice ending. I felt like, oh, it could end here. I mean, it doesn't, I wish it didn't, but it could. Um and, uh, but a lot of people disagree with me on that one. So I saw someone say, hey, if you want to support, if you want to save Daredevil, go pick up the new comic book uh, because tonally it's it's very similar to what the show was doing. And they weren't joking. Uh, Ch Chip Zdarsky and uh, Mark Ticetto. Uh, Mark Ticetto did Old Man um, Hawkeye and I loved that book so much. Ethan Sachs wrote the living crap out of it and Mark drew the living crap out of it. Uh, if you have not read Old Man Hawkeye, pick it up. I think it's both volumes are in trade now. I highly recommend it. It's phenomenal. It's really cool. It made me really, I mean, I liked Hawkeye before, but I really liked that book a lot. Uh, so when I saw that he's coming over to do the art on this, uh, they do a you know, great job on this. And Chip Zdarsky's Spider-Man writing, especially towards the end there, got really great. And his Marvel 2-in-1 was phenomenal. So I picked this up and I would recommend you pick it up too. It's fantastic. Um, I did get another book at Golden Apple. I got the Transformers book, but I'm going to do a whole Transformer episode on that because I want to really dive in deep into that because it's starting a new continuity. I have a lot to say about it. So we'll do that in an upcoming episode very soon, especially since some of you saw my TFCon video, which thank you because that video got over 500 views in the first 24 hours. So I appreciate you all very much for supporting that. And I read the message loud and clear. You want more Transformer content. So every month I will be reviewing this book. And then I'll also be building the model kits and occasionally, if I can, maybe one a month, if I can save up money to get one of the toys, we'll talk about one of the toys that are coming out uh, currently. Um, but I'm thinking about saving when the new Netflix show comes out next year. I'll do reviews of that. So we'll have a lot of Transformer content coming up. There's more movie news coming out. So we'll get back into Transformer stuff, I promise. Uh, so just be patient with me. I promise we'll get that stuff to you guys. Uh, and then I went over to Legacy Comics, as you saw. And what I picked up there uh, was the latest issue of Dead Man Logan, which is number five. I have not read this one yet. 
but I have read the first four and I have, you know, all of them here. And this is basically Ed Breeson who took over the uh, Old Man Logan comic, I think around issue like 26 or 7. And uh, from, uh, from uh, who was writing it? Uh, Jeff Lemire, I think, was writing the first 20 or so issues. So Ed Breeson took over and I really liked his run. I liked what he was doing. And he brought it all the way up to issue 50 where it ended. And now that it's over, he's writing Dead Man Logan, which is a 12 issue series where Old Man Logan basically is definitely dying. And so he wants to... I think they want to send him back to his own timeline or else he's going to die or something's going on like that. But before he does, he wants to make sure that Mysterio is killed and dead once and for all. So that, you know, the thing that caused his whole world to happen, which was Mysterio brainwashing him or using illusions, and they tricked Wolverine into killing the entire X-Men. That's the story of Old Man Logan in the comic books. And Wolverine killed all the X-Men and then decided to, almost like the movie Unforgiven, he was like, I'm never going to kill again, I'm not popping my claws again, I went and he went and had a family, um, and then like the Hulk was like, you know, like his landlord, and when he didn't pay up, the Hulk killed his family and stuff, and then so he had to get revenge on the Hulk, um, so yeah, so this is him going like, all right, well before I leave this world, I want to make sure what happened to me doesn't happen to you guys, so I'm going to try to take out Mysterio, and what happens in this is actually pretty fun, especially with Mysterio, the way they're writing him so far is really great, because he kind of doesn't want to do anything, he, he, came back from the dead. He's already been dead once. He's come back, reunited with his daughter, had a whole thing in Las Vegas with uh, the Scarlet Spider, and is, like, now back in New York, and he, like, committed himself to, like, a, you know, like a nut house in a way, and he's basically like, I'm going to just stay here. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want anyone to bother me. I'm just going to live out the rest of my life here and not hurt anybody, and now, Hy like, new Hydra wants to use him to, uh, to do exactly what he did in the Ultra Universe, and now he's being used to do it, and it, it's really cool. So if you're a Mysterio fan, if you're excited about the new Spider-Man movie, this is a good Mysterio story on top of a good Wolverine story. Um, and speaking of the Old Man universe, Old Man Quill, I picked up issue three, and this is uh, Peter Quill, obviously Star-Lord, and this is him uh, reuniting with the Guardians of the Galaxy years in the future, and he's coming back to Earth, um, to the wastelands where Doctor Doom is in control of the world now after Red Skull died uh, from Old Man Logan and everything that's happened. Uh, now Doctor Doom is making a play to rule the planet. And so it's the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy coming back in the future after he went through uh, some really tra tragic and uh, traumatic things, uh, now coming back to try to put the team together to save the world one last time. And they're kind of curious where the Avengers and everybody are. So it's another cool sneak peek into that world. It's written by Ethan Sachs, who did Old Man Logan, uh, so uh, or did Old Man Hawkeye, I'm sorry. And Robert Gill's art is really great. So I would recommend picking this up if you're a, you know, a Guardians of the Galaxy fan at all. And if you want to see more stuff in the Old Man universe. Because uh, so far I'm really digging it. I think this book is really cool. It started off a little slow in the first issue. But two and three started to pick up for me. Um, so yeah, this is what I got this week. Uh, if you guys got, you know, whatever you picked up this week, I want to hear what your thoughts are down below. Did you have a favorite book this week, a least favorite book? And did you read any of these series? Because uh, I know Daredevil's not new. I think I just picked these up because they had like first prints of them. So I was like, all right, I'll get them now uh, before, you know, so I can stay caught up on the book. And I added it to my pull list. So uh, this is what I'm enjoying right now. or This is what I got this week. But I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what you're reading. And we'll definitely do more of these episodes, you know, probably not every single week. But, uh, but, you know, I'll try to squeeze them in when I can, maybe two a month if I can, and we'll try to aim for that. Um, so thank you again for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.